Hello everyone. Welcome to Sunday. Once again, we are live here Sunday, December 29th, 2013. Then you guys know what that means. You guys know what that means. Say goodbye to 2000. Okay. Anybody else really happy to get rid of the 2013 number? I'm not like superstitious or anything, but I've just never liked that number. Any threes. I don't like odd numbers. I like even numbers. My even numbered years are always my better years. <laughs> so I'm really, really happy to see 2013 go. Get rid of it. <laughs> okay, so this is really funny, you guys. Hubby has to now come to the chat room and watch the show if he wants to see me during this time because he's in a completely different house than I am. So that's that's why he's here. And he better behave himself. That's all I'm saying there. <laughs> so welcome. If you are new to the show, we get together every Sunday evening. Although next week we will not be here on Spreecast. Uh, if you have yet to go and follow me over on our new channel, you can do so by going to the dannyapptv.com or dannyapptv.com. Either one will get you there. And we're going to now be over on live stream. And what that is going to do is make it better possible for me to bring on um, special guests for you guys to, to hear about um, successful sellers. I know you guys always love to hear how people do different ways. Get us, I love that. I love to hear how people are finding success in different ways, ways I may not have thought about. Always exciting. So that is why we're switching over, because Spreecast seems to have lowered the quality of our video, even though I upgraded my internet to the fanciest, highest speed, most expensive thing possible where I live. Um, it's still not good enough, and that's, that's coming from Spreecast. So, so we are going over to live stream, and you can get there through the dannyapptv.com. New name for the new year. We're starting it off right. What do you think? Does that work for you guys? I hope so. But if you you can go follow me over there right now, and then you're going to get notifications every time we have a show going on over there. So hopefully that works a little better. Yay. All right, what else do I need to tell you? I got my notes in front of me. I don't know why I am so tired tonight. Well, I do know why. Been moving into a new house, although I have to say, this is the funnest move I've done because usually I live in a house for about three or four months before I even think about decorating. And I've been going a little bit crazy. I'm getting, I have these ledges up top, but I know I put this further on in my notes. But <laughs> I couldn't wait to tell you about it. I have these ledges up in the main rooms and over the kitchen and dining room, and I've been decorating them with stuff I got at the auction, and I was bad. I went to three different savers yesterday, but I got some really cool stuff. Um, I can talk about it a little later, too, when I'm talking about the stuff that I bought this week. But yeah, I've been decorating and really having fun with that. So that's, uh, yeah, that's why I'm tired. And then we got, we moved, I got, oh my gosh, you guys. Okay. Oh, sometimes my mouth goes faster than, or my brain goes faster than my mouth. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I go to the auction every week. And this last week they had, maybe it was two weeks ago, they had uh, a Wells Fargo bank had consigned all of the stuff from when I, it either closed a branch or remodeled. Anyway, all the stuff was there. And one of the things that was at the auction was this five-piece executive desk. I want it for 50 bucks. <laughs> um, much to my husband's chagrin because he had to move it today out of, yes, that's why I got a storage unit. You guys probably heard me go like, I'm way against having a storage unit for inventory. So uh, this storage unit was not for inventory. It was for the furniture that I've been buying. Um, because I had to get it out of the auction house. So I will not have the storage unit for long. Um, but yes, yes, the desk is awesome. Want to my heavy for getting it all put together for me. Um, and I'm really excited because now I have a home office, although I will not 
be moving my eBay business over there, but it will be nice to be able to do some of the business that I need to do over there, stuff that does not include inventory, because I'm not going to do that. I promised. I promised I wouldn't do it. Um, it'll be my research and my paperwork and my, you know, running the Danny app stuff and, and all that stuff is what I'll do from home. Um, but as far as listing and shipping and photography, that's all going to get done here at what is now my, my real home office. So there we go. And I have a place for mom to come and stay. There, that's, uh, hey, you know what? I was looking at moving into a commercial building, and this is way cheaper, let me tell you. I already got it. I already got all the utilities hooked up, turned on, and yeah, it's all good. So that's what we're doing. All right, so it's our last time together for 2013, which means we have got the new year starting. Like, three, is that three days from now? I can't count. Yes, three days from now. We've got a new year. Have you guys started making your plans, setting your goals for 2014? Let me see who's who's on top of things in the chat room. Yes, I got one yes I see so far. Only one yes? I probably could, Cindy. I probably could. <laughs> uh, she says I could probably do an entire show on thrifted items in my home. Yeah, I probably could. Hey, I am going to start doing something else. I, I get ahead of myself. I'll tell you that in a minute. Let's talk about goals. Let's talk about goals. So you heard me say it more than once, that not only do you need to have those goals, you need to write them down. You need to put them in writing in front of you on a wall so you can be reminded what you set as a goal because you are over 30% more likely to reach those goals if you've written them down. Okay, so that's the first commitment I want you guys to make. All of you guys that said yes, do you have those goals written down in front of you? Let's see how many yeses we get now. Good. Awesome. Woohoo. All right. So yes, so that is the most important thing is to get those goals written down in front of you. Now, Here's something else you need to do on those goals. Make sure they are SMART goals. And what I mean by SMART goals is this. Each letter stands for something. And yes, I'm going to cheat with my notes so I get it right. The S stands for specific. You want to have a very targeted, specific area for whatever it is that goal is for an improvement or an achievement, whatever that is, very, very specific. Okay? No general goals. No, like, I want to sell more in 2014. That doesn't work. You guys need to say, I want to sell $100,000 worth of products in 2014. Okay? Or $5,000 a month. Okay? So very specific goal. The next is M for measurable. Measurable. So can you measure that goal? So this is to um, quantify or at least suggest an indicator of progress. And yes, I'm reading that. because That's very important. You need to be able to know if you are reaching that goal. Okay? So obviously with our sales, we can do that. You can look at that. Um, with time, you need to be able to measure. You know, are you saving time on something? So it's something you'll have to keep track of. A, achievable. And this is where a lot of people go wrong on their goals. Are you setting your goals too big? Is $100,000 in sales next year just such a huge leap that that is a bit unrealistic for you to make? So you definitely want to have your goals be realistic to you and attainable. Okay? Um, and uh, realistic. There we go. That was the next one. Um, State what results can realistically be achieved given the available resources. Okay, is it worthwhile? Is it the right time for that goal? Uh, is it something that really makes sense right now? So this is all really important stuff, you guys. And timely. Specify when the results can be achieved. And that, you know, these kind of all connect and they all intertwine and they all work together. So you can see it's really important to not only have those goals, but to really break them down 
Now, something I've got going for the appsters this year, and those of you who are appsters, this is the first I know you're hearing about this. So surprise! Um, a piece that's often missing for people when it comes to setting goals, especially those of us who work from home and are not reporting to a boss, you know, if we don't make our goals, there is nobody to, you know, give us a bad report or, or anything, you know. But one of the things that we lack working from home is the accountability factor. Um, and basically that is, you know, what happens if I don't meet my goal? There's like, you know, if I don't tell anybody my goal, it's not really real. So there's going to be an accountability factor. There's a very clear system I'm going to have in place for the appsters, which basically means I get to nag you. <laughs> no, honestly, my appsters know that my nagging is with love because I want to see you totally succeed. But um, as many of you know, I've been traveling a lot this past year, and a lot of those things I've been going to is in training on some of these things. And uh, I just love the accountability piece. Love it, love it, love it. It is one of the reasons I've been able to reach some, some pretty outstanding goals that I've made to reach. Um, you know, one of my goals that I wrote down and I pushed myself for was to have 8,000 feedback in, in my eBay uh, by the end of the year. Now, I made that goal by December first, actually, but one of the ways I did that was I went back and looked at what percentage of my customers actually left feedback to know how many transactions I needed in order to reach my feedback goal, and I just, I blew by it, so um, I'm telling you, it works, it works, it works, it works. Yes, yes, yes. So accountability, yes, it's your financial obligations, um, but we all have those. And that's still, I'm going to tell you, it's not enough. It's not enough. And it's not enough just to know that the stack of bills has to be paid. It's just not enough. You'd think it would be enough, but it's not enough. And um, so we definitely are adding that piece. What? Okay, I you know I have to just not read the chat when my husband's in there. I really, I really, <laughs> I really just have to not. I uh, sorry guys, <laughs> Lisa, let me know if there's anything I need to see in the chat because it's 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 distracting me. <laughs> All right, so we are definitely going to be doing some things to meet those goals now. I'm branching out to this beyond just the appsters. I love my appsters. That's where I spend the majority of my time. I'm also doing something that is going to be just for anybody who wants to take part in it. And for you, my, my listeners, my followers, we're going to do a listing challenge at the beginning of the year. Not, not, we're going to let you get over the, the fourth quarter hangover. And, uh, but come about, well, I'm thinking February. February is good. We are going to do a listing challenge, and I will let you know when the sign-up for that is ready. Totally free. There's no cost to do the listing challenge. It's totally on you guys. Um, but every day, there's going to be an accountability piece. There's going to be the goal setting. There's going to be all of that stuff. So February, you guys, is historically one of my best months of the year, and I want to help you guys make it. Uh, one of your best months, too, if it's not already. So there we are. You know, okay, no, I'm not reading the chat. I'm not reading the chat. <laughs> so that's what's coming up. I've got, like, just so much great stuff planned for 2014. I, I've just been, like, waiting for the new year to get here because I just I love starting fresh and clean in the new year, and that's why I haven't started anything yet. Yes, Sean, you have to actually work this year. I'm sorry, this stuff, there's no nose twitching. There's no, you know, magic wands. It's like, yeah, we have to do the work. I'm there with you. I'm there with you. I had my worst, worst holiday season ever because it wasn't listing. Duh. You don't list it, it doesn't sell. That's how it works. <laughs> I've been back to listing again, and now the sales are coming in again. Go figure. Go figure. <sighs> anyway, so that's what we got going. Now, 
this isn't really a clean segue here, guys, but um, as you know, I'm traveling again this year. I'm coming to many places, and uh, one of the things that you get with that is you get the follow-up. You don't just get me going shopping with you and helping you fill your cart, but afterwards, there is the accountability piece. There's a webinar afterwards. We make sure you get all that stuff listed, because I know it's really easy on the day that I'm with you. I'm helping you. I'm telling you what stuff is, and then you get home, and some days pass by, and you go, uh-oh, what did she call this? So now I have added webinars into the Day with Danny events. So you get all the follow-up training as well. And I have three of those events coming up. Uh, da, 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 looking at my calendar, uh, we have um, da, 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 January 8th. Yes, January 8th, 9th, I don't know, 8th. <laughs> I don't even know what I wrote on my calendar. January 8th or 9th. It's, it's on that link that Lisa just put up. <laughs> January, I will be up in, um, oh, that's right. There's no day with Danny in that one. That's why my dates are funky. Never mind that. Eek, scratch that. Edit. Uh, da -da, January 16th. There we go. January 16th. I will be in Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. And February 12th, I will be in San Jose. And where's my other one? I know there's another one in there somewhere. Maybe not. Where's my secretary? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Seattle, thank you. I knew I was missing one. January 24th, I will be in Seattle. See, I'm tired tonight, you guys. I'm tired. Dallas is coming. Dallas is slated for March or April. March or April for Dallas. Stay tuned for Dallas. I will also be doing one in San Francisco. That's coming up too. Yes, yes, yes. And I do need to get up to Carpinteria. Absolutely. Santa Barbara, Carpinteria area, guys. I am going to be getting there too. I'm, I'm Now that I've moved and I can settle in, that's, on, that's one of the things I'm doing this week is planning out my calendar. Do I ever fly south? You betcha, Kimberly. I actually, and, and I know this isn't south, but I'm actually looking at probably going to Boston later this year in the summer. So I'm kind of working out something there. Yep. yep. I want to come back to uh, Orlando and, and Florida. That was, that was a lot of fun, too. Absolutely, absolutely. So that's on the list. If you're interested, go and get more information over at um, thedannyapp.com slash day-with-danny and that will show you uh, how to get on a list to find out where I'm going to be and also give you the links to sign up. Absolutely. All right, guys. Whew. Oh, and um, just so I don't forget, uh, I wanted to give a plug for Deborah Conrad of Thrifting for Profits. Um, you guys, she is kind of my Amazon FBA counterpart. She is an appster, and so I help her with her eBay, and she helps me with my, my Amazon FBA. So she has an amazing guide called Thrifting for Profit, the Amazon Way, and I highly recommend it if you are looking at getting into Amazon, or even if you're already there and could use a little fine-tuning. Deborah really knows her stuff, and she's done fantastically well. Now, her claim to fame is not going and doing retail arbitrage. Her claim to fame is thrifting and sending that stuff into Amazon. So a little different twist, and that's why her and I get along so well, because we're both in those thrift stores. Who let them cows out? Moo, 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 moo.